Hey guys. Just uh just got done taking some pictures. Now Mike is coming up, we're gonna chill. Look how blue the sky is, Joe, right there. It's insane. Look at it behind you. That's crazy. I'm coming up and I'm going to tell you that I'm a bit zapechani. A bit is a what? Zapechani, I can't breathe. I can't breathe, Mark. Here you go. Enjoy. Alright, guys. We're hiking up now to the sunny, to the nice sunny strice. Oh my. Right now we're hiking up to that spot. We caught this really sick place up here. I'm just out of breath because the air is so thin up here. And I'm trying to get a time lapse. Let's keep running. Ah! Tastes good! This action over there is insane though. We don't believe in drinking, but we do drink root beer. Oh my. <gasps> Alright guys, so right now we're hiking up to the tippy top. Pretty crazy. Cause... Some nice boulders. Okay, alright guys, I'm starting the video right now. Thank you guys so much for joining us right now for this video. This is the moment where I'm heading out to California with my best friend Mark. Oi. <laughs> Bro, this is... <gasps> and we don't... Yeah, root beer. No, we, we root beer. This is my favorite. We root do it beer, the, by the legit way. way. We yeah, don't. So, we don't do any of that alcohol junk. Skanky, disgusting stuff. So we're going to Cali. I'm Poison. going to get my King's shocks installed, my suspension, so that we can actually do some real off-roading. And on the way, we're going to be stopping by beautiful views, checking out some beautiful places. Look at that. It's just, I'm just, it's just amazing. So, thank you guys so much for joining me, and continue to enjoy the rest of this vlog. Stay tuned, guys. Look at that. It's Oh the beauty! I saw, apparently. Apparently there's a tent here, Mark is dipping. <laughs> we literally thought that there was like nobody here, it's literally like 6 in the morning. Normal people are sleeping. Normal people are sleeping. <laughs> We're literally on the Pacific Crest Trail right now. Pacific people Crest? Tenting. And we're just here talking about root beer and King Shocks. <laughs> And filet mignons. Why are you yelling? <laughs> Stop it. Dude, they're mad. No. So we're living the dream. Oh yeah, I know. I'm even eating mosquitoes right now. <coughs> That's the dream, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what we're doing right now, okay guys, so right now we're going to this little stream I see on my map. Um, we're getting some pretty crazy altitude. We're at like five and a half thousand feet, climbing a hundred feet about every 30 seconds. It's very steep. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna try to camp by this river, make some steak, and then get some sleep before we head over to Shasta Lake to swim. Probably end up arriving at Shasta around four or 5 p.m. where it's gonna be like 110 degrees. Trying to stay up in altitude away from the heat right now as much as we can. It's already 70 degrees and it's only 8.52 in the morning, which is insane. So, um, yeah, stay tuned and see what happens. Yeah, pretty crazy. Yeah. So right now, as you can see right up there, 72 degrees. And uh, pretty beautiful though. I'm loving it. We're heating up this cast iron. We're going to make some filet mignon. Um, Marvel food and deli for the hookups with the food and for the filet mignon. Our kitchen table is called 2018 Toyota Tacoma tailgate. Yeah, guys, we got the we got the taco doing all the work for us. So I got the tires pretty dirty. Guys, right now we're heating up our cast iron pan, and uh, we're about to get these uh, fillets on in that sirloin. We actually forgot our uh, olive oil. Oh shoot, Mark got olive oil. Some people over there had olive oil. This is awesome. So we needed olive oil and uh, we got some. So this is perfect. Californians are legit. Well, some. Some Californians are legit. Just rub it in. Yep. Flip it, rub some more on it. Olive oil on there. Throw the meat. On the pan? Uh-huh. It's gonna burn. No, it's fine. Well, two I minutes on each side. 
got to make this like legit, you know? Has it been two minutes? I think it's okay, guys. So we got the got the steaks actually cooking. We flipped them now, and uh, you can tell that it's you can tell that it's good because of the way it is. And the way you want to choose, you can choose how you want the steak like done, like well done, medium rare, um, just by how many times you flip it over. So you have two minutes on one side, and then you'll flip it and do two minutes on the other. You don't want to go more than two minutes because you'll start burning the, burning the meat. So you want to leave one side to cool down while the other side's cooking. I guess it's all depends on your style or your flavor, how you want it. So we're gonna keep cooking this up and uh, let's keep doing this. 140. Okay. Take garlic for a Take a garlic for a So we're gonna do uh, about, well, I like a lot of garlic, so yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and. Clean it. Nice thing about doing this stuff in nature is you could just litter the garlic stuff. It doesn't matter. Okay. And then we're just gonna squish it like that, and then just put it to the side. Like on top, yeah. There you go. And add one on the next one. There you go. Oh, it's so good. Working. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. that garlic. Ten marks. Like, do a taste test. Okay. You like it? Hold on. There's like literally so much flavor it's hard to even like Explain. start describing literally it's like explodes in your mouth like this is so good so right here we have um cut it open show them how it looks inside we actually went with a bit more of a well done just because we like it like that but so literally guys when you go on a trip just take a filet mignon with you and then you oh. can cook it anywhere right now this is super good uh can you cut me a piece right here filet mignon guys bon appetit Dang. So good. Dude, let's go bring those people a piece. Yeah? Mm hmm. Should we give him this one? Is that No, was that flaming? <clears throat> I'll just cut this They're one. They're juice, man. Mm, give him this one, yeah. Okay, let's go. Hey, you want to. Joe also a good knife because it cuts filet mignon. Filet mignon is the softest meat, but. <laughs> instead of saying like tenderloin or sirloin, we say filet mignon because more people know what filet mignon is. Filet mignon. Oh, by the way, jet boil giveaway. Way. Jet boil giveaway. We are doing a jet boil giveaway, guys. Um, we took some pictures of it. We gotta figure out a way to set this thing up. So, it's probably gonna be on our Instagrams. Okay guys, so before, this whole setup right here, I would have everything packed away in different bags and stuff, but now I got a bin that I store everything for my cooking in here. So, I have this right here, the stove top in there. I have the cast iron pan. I'm actually gonna buy one. This is actually Mark's. Um, and we fit everything in here. And so then that way, you just grab that whole case out of your garage or wherever you store it and you throw it in the truck and you know that all of your cooking utensils are ready to go. Um, so it's very convenient and it's really easy, honestly, to just put everything in there. And um, it makes everything just, it makes everything so much quicker and smoother and easier. Guys, we're gonna clean up and then after that, uh, we're gonna probably go take a dip. I'm gonna sleep in the hammock. Mark's gonna sleep in the truck bed. It's getting hot right now, it's like about 80 degrees. We're gonna go to Shasta Lake. Shasta Lake is about, gonna be like 111, 111 degrees. I'm pretty excited for that. Hey guys, it's so gonna be nice. the campsite for now. Just gonna sleep in here. Got all our stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna go swimming, let's go. Okay, too late now. Okay guys, we have uh, Mark, how are you feeling? Bro, they don't call this a truck bed for no reason, okay? 
<laughs> Literally a truck bed. Yeah, I'm feeling great. Good night. <laughs> All right, guys, I showed you guys Mark's little bed setup. Uh, where I'm going to be sleeping is right here. I got my little, I got a hammock set up. Yeah, guys, so this is the whole, this is the whole area with the truck. Guys, we're going to get a nap, a good sleep in, probably like two hours, and then uh, we're going to go to Shasta Lake for some swimming. Do you guys, so... Uh, we no, didn't. Dude, we gotta park it like this. We didn't have a car wash, so uh, <laughs> look at this. Ah! Yo, park it like this. We're gonna use my truck as a jump, so I'll show you guys what we're doing. We literally backed up the truck into the water. See. <laughs> So we are now under the tailgate of the truck because it's the only shade around right. Trust the lake here. As you can Literally. see, we have a nice view of a tire. And that's about it. <laughs> that's totally not real around. This is the can and this is the cannot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. What does that mean? So we're at these cliffs behind me. As you can see. Nice little spot. Oh, this is nice. Man, if you, Mark, if you just let your feet drop with your Yo, why are we going to the shore if you just lay on top of the water and just chill? I know, but we want to be in shape. Yeah. It looks like a sick one. 